good. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dre. And it's your girl Desi. And today we're going to be reacting to the NBA Youngboy interview by the Bootleg Kev podcast. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. What's your favorite Disney movie of all time? Um, The Little Vampire. The li oh, you're talking about the... Um, I don't know The Little Vampire. Tr Transylvania? It's no. kind of old. It's about the kids. I think he stays in Switzerland or some shit. In November. The little... It's a Disney movie? I watched it on Disney when I was little. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, have you ever heard of that? I ain't heard of that either. Mm -hmm. So we're like far apart in age. Well, not too far. 12 years. I don't age myself too much, but when I was growing up, it was Lion King, Aladdin, Toy Story. Those are the ones. Wait, so Toy Story, they oh? Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Damn. Oh, my, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad, man. I know this is big. No, it's all good. I'm only five. I did it. I'm watching, man. Yeah, Toy Story's that old. The first one, at least. Well, so how's the bread? Whatever the age you is. So, you know, do you want to have to that? The first Toy Story came out probably when I was like, I want to say like... This is... Eight years old. Maybe nine. So it's definitely old school. But, I don't know. Um... Some of the you got it? Go put it on, man. So everybody, my friends are here. I've never put it. It's fine. <laughs> Babies are going to baby, man. For you, man, talk about fatherhood and how, uh, you know, obviously, you do have a lot of children. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is yeah. fatherhood to you, man? Yeah. Um, not really big on it, to be mm. honest. Should he not big on it? That's surprising there, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe, like, with all the... What do you mean by like, not big on it? What people make fatherhood out to be, maybe that's mm. what he means. Well, you know, his father, like, wasn't really in his life either, so I don't know if that, like, affected his answer. It's kind of surprising. Like you're, you're, I mean, you're a family man. I'm here with you. I see it. Yeah, but I'm only, I'm only like in here because you. Oh well, I don't believe it's, it. it's a crazy topic because I'm not the type like the sugar coat nigga. Mm -hmm. But I'm four walls all day. Every day. When you say four walls, you mean locked in? Yeah. Just home being mm -hmm. on the music, mm -hmm. recording. Mm -hmm. He can take the hat. He don't want the hat. He ain't like you, that shit. Mostly. Lily inside. Working. No. No, I'm not watching TV. I'm just sitting there all day. Um, stuck inside just one room. What a reason, King? I don't really travel this house like that. It's a hamburger bun. <laughs> so even in your own home, you'll be stuck in one room. Uh, He's very invested uh, into this man. I mean, like, he yeah. wants that. He can take that. Let him take that. He wants it. He has it. Um, so even at home, and you, I mean, obviously we're in a beautiful house right now. You're, you have a beautiful home. You'll still kind of just stick to one room in the house. Yeah. What do you think? I feel like everybody got their favorite room, like in their house. Yeah. I understand, man. I have a favorite. <laughs> Why is that, you think, man? Shh. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I'm like, I, I, ain't, I wouldn't say I'm going through a lot. I'm just me. <laughs> Do you find yourself being offered you to refer to the music as, as therapy? I am going to need this hat actually because this is, this is bright. Um, do you feel like being alone in your thoughts is a form of therapy for you? It's kind of my way of staying sane. My humans have. Being by yourself, being secluded, relaxing, is it watching TV, is it writing, is it? I don't do no writing. Um, yeah, watching TV oh, in a video game. That's all I've been watching TV on a video game. <laughs> He got so lucky just to sit on young boy couch. Yeah, he should have got a little money. Bro is chilling. Well, still, you chilling in this man crib. Young boy don't even play like that. It's crazy yeah. how he's starting to get these interviews out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your no go-to no movie, TV show. Like, what about TV shows? Like, what are you watching? What are you binge watching? What's young boy uh, binge watching? I'm boring. <laughs> so what do you watch? Remember old 
What's old to you? Because what's old to you might be like, um, I watch The Sopranos. British? Maybe top two show ever. Um, I watch The Godfather just back to back. Why do you watch all these gangster movies? <laughs> Third one's the worst one, right? Mm. I think it's like one. It's kind of the best to see his growth, but you learn that like it kind of gave you the thought of that's why you need to stay dangerous. That's true. That's why. That's why you need to stay dangerous. <laughs> um. So you love Sopranos. Yeah. What about Breaking Bad? Did you ever watch Breaking Bad? Oh yeah, I watched that with my wife. Uh, um. A couple episodes. Probably, yeah, you got the first snack, man. Like Breaking Bad's crazy. The Wire is another one. If you love Sopranos, I watched the one. The bread in that bag. Finish it. Yeah, I tried it. I watched it twice. No, like it's me too. Season. Me too. I just rewatched it when the pandemic first started. I showed my wife, and it made me realize, like, I don't know. It just got better the second watch. Like Omar Little, I love the house. It's gotta be one of the greatest. I don't know about the white couch though. Like TV characters like ever. Couch. It looked nice. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite character? Mm -hmm. Eating hot, cut off. He eating hot Cheeto on the white couch. Hey. But he do got a blanket on it, but still. I mean, you can always buy another couch. You know, eat them Cheeto. You know, you gotta get it off. You saw him. He did this. Like <laughs> Bodie, Bodie man, the story of Bodie man. Shout out to Bodie. And he lasted so long in the show, too. Yeah, he just ain't catch his cut at the right time. He did it, man. That's real. You should, I feel like somebody should do, it could be you, could, anybody should do a song from the perspective of Bodie. Like, I think that would be crazy. Because, <laughs> man, Bodie was, well, he, like, he hung around. He might, though. He, yeah, about the he might. so long in that show. Yeah, they are, too. It was fucking over on that. For sure. That's dope, man. Yeah, though, so The Wire is my favorite show of all time. What about uh, video games? What are you playing right now? Watch Dogs. Um, I watch Dogs. Red Dead. And mm -hmm. then... Red Dead Redemption is amazing. Um, we were talking earlier about it when you were on your horse, but... I think you got an Xbox, too, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Oh, boy. I think so. I got a PS5. I have a PS5. I'm mad. Madden, what's your, what, what's, what, what squad are you picking this year? I've been running. I've been running with the dolphins a lot. Mm. Everybody play with the dolphins. Kills a cheat code, right? Yeah, just they, man, that, that team is like strictly speed on offense. My son murders me with Tyree Kill every single time. Yeah, he's like the wide receiver, Mike. So back in the day, I'm surprised he say uh, the 49ers. If y'all know, y'all know. When he was in Madden, Mike Vick was kind of the cheat code in Madden. What's up, man? And um, I feel like Tyreek Hill this year is the cheat code. Uh, high five? Like? No. I know he is watching it. High five? Yeah. It's like, you know, you know your kids be bad, so you got to watch it. <laughs> yeah. You're you know, not watching it. You're really paying attention. You're looking at him like you've been there. Yeah, yeah. This is better. Yeah. 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 Found it. There we go. Yeah. You're learning your words. You you want the hat again? You can have for a sec. It's bright though. You see the brightness? Oh, thank you for putting it back on my head. You're so polite. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I wonder, man, like, you know, when we think of like Mount Rushmore of this rap shit, and like I told you earlier, you've you've kind of he is. Is he? Done something that not a lot of people have done. He did that before. Extremely yeah, that's successful. That's one way to exit. In a very shallow business. It's a nice way. Like, you playing the baby just snap the head off your ring. Just kind of sticking to your your your, your beliefs, sticking to who you are the whole time. Are you kind of like self-aware to realize that like you are kind of you are on the Mount Rushmore of like this hip hop shit that lasts like ten years? Like you are like yeah. up there. Like you are the Pac of our generation for so many people. I know. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that, but like you know, one song he's like, you know, I ain't the two Pac of our generation. Okay, so, cool. Like, he don't like people saying okay. that because he not yeah. though. Like I mean, they flows are definitely different. That's, that's how yeah, I feel. Like, but I, I, don't, I give a chance to those, so don't don't attack me in the comments. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just don't want to go into they said and it's molded. But who 
Tuesday. The industry. Fuck. You know what the industry is? That's the people. <laughs> I think so many people say it. Now, whether or not there are people who put together like the end of the year rap list and these quote unquote tastemakers, you have so many people, real people, going to work every day, taking care of their kids every day who say it. Well, to me, that's off. the shit that matters. I live on the radio like you all the time. Mm -hmm. After construction coming, mm -hmm. if I just sit in the office every day, just all day. Just relax, be a regular person? Yeah. So if you could do any sort of a uh, regular job and have a, be having a construction company? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you ever see yourself, like, I mean, retiring? Is that even something that you're 24 years old? You have, I, I don't even know how many hours at this point. A lot. Could you ever see yourself, like, just, do you have thoughts about what happens after rap? I'm kind of set on going in jail right now, so. Wait, what? Like, what did he say? I think he said he's set on not going to jail right oh, now. Oh, he said going to jail. Let me hear you say I'm kind of set on going in jail right now, so. I don't think mm -hmm. about too much. Hey, want me to put you over here? When you say you're, you're, you're set on going to jail, what, what do you mean? Like going back? Oh, see, so dude. Like you think that that's just in your fate? I used to live my life. Mm -hmm. I don't let it bother me on my shit like that. You create the bed, you, you know, you, you make the bed, you lay. You make the bed, you lay. So you, that's kind of where your head's at when you think of the future. Still. That's, that's interesting because I, I do think, uh, shout out to Donnie Bosco that's on too right now. Shout out to uh, Al Pacino, all time code. I think that you are somebody who has an immeasurable amount of influence and moreover power when it comes to this rap shit. Like, I had this conversation. Uh, are you familiar with the artist named Lil Russell? Lil Russell? He's from uh, Oakland and he does concerts in his backyard. Independent kid. Okay, um, but we were talking about it yesterday and I was like... You know, there's a few artists in this game At least he tried to catch him. who, if they went independent, could break the music industry and really kind of expose it, right? And you were one of those names. I think it's you, I think it's Drake, I think it's The Weeknd, who really have the power to kind of, like, shift the industry. You've already done that. Those are popular rappers, though. Drake, The Weeknd, him. Mm -hmm. That's very popular. Especially when it comes to YouTube. But, you know... You're one of you, you're one of them, bro. You're him, bro. Like, you know, I think you 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 uh you definitely walk away. have a future outside of going, ending up back in jail. Look at that picture. Oh, huh? have a future outside of. Oh my god, that is so cute. Okay, nice. Ending up back in jail. I really like hate this shit. It really blends with the whole concept. You like hate. It should take a toll on me. Yeah. My, my wife. The kids. Just the music industry. Being yeah, famous. Just, I wouldn't blame it on the industry. It's all, it's all about how you go about it. And I'm not that strong. That's important to uh, be self aware about, man. I cry a lot. Mm -hmm. Literally. You know, I'm at a point where it's okay. Like, my wife, I don't know, bro. How, how much therapy have you uh, tried to go to? I know we had talked earlier, you've gone to rehab, but therapy is an important um, tool in anyone's box, not just yours, but anybody's box, you know, they, to kind of deal with some. I mean, not everyone's as strong as we try to portray ourselves to be. I, uh, I tried it when I was 18. Mm -hmm. It was court order, and I, I, oh, I was court order. I thought he just went to therapy, but she had to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think the court order shit's different, though. You know, like I think you could have. You remember? Listen, we're, you're a Sopranos guy. Remember Tony had a therapist. Yeah. You remember that? I thought that she was gonna get him killed. Before I, before I actually finish the show. <laughs> For sure. <Yeah. laughs> but Tony went to therapy, man, and it helped him deal with so much. Because, you know, I always say this, like, 
for whatever reason, men in this world, we're not allowed to, society doesn't, they frown upon us being hurt. They frown upon us having feelings. We're supposed to hold it together. We're supposed to hold down the kids. We're supposed to hold down our wives. We're supposed to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you're the head of your household, if you're the head of your crew, if you're the leader, who do you talk to if you're going through some shit? You know what I'm saying? You're a significant other. Do you have that person or do you just internalize it, put it out through the music? <laughs> I don't even love music to the point no more where I run to the microphone. Mm -hmm. I know I, I don't run to the microphone no more. Ain't feeling like that. Feel that. Feel that. The person I talk to. I think everybody should find that person. I think you should you should try to go back to therapy, man. Because I'm at, I have it um on this Saturday. Oh, you do? Okay. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to talk to somebody who doesn't already have kind of like. Their mind made up about you who can't benefit off you, you know what I'm saying? So you can kind of get like a, you can kind of bare your soul to somebody. So. Ma! Ma! Yeah, that's how we call my mom, like, Ma. <laughs> hey, I can smoke a cigarette here? I think he's talking to his wife. You think so? Yeah. I can smoke a cigarette here? That's his wife. Oh, yeah. Sound like. I don't give a fuck about this, huh? Hmm? I'm trying to move. See, I don't give a fuck about this. I'm trying to move in the middle of the water, kid. Middle of the water? Mm-hmm. Island? No. Like a little island. Oh, like a little island? No. You want to get a boat? Yeah. Nice. He lived there. And the only way you... Does Jason live there? He probably got, like, his own room, probably, but... That's just like an artist, like it's an engineer. So like he can't go nowhere. He can't go to Jason, so Jason got to go to him. So he probably stay there a lot, you know, when he making music. That's what I was like. Does he just like live there? He probably got his own room for sure, though. Okay. Me the helicopter flop that bitch and grab you and come back. I like that. Like lately, I want to live on the water. But I really like this. You want to live on the water? I said underwater. Oh, I thought you said underwater. I was saying. Money I have my own shit like that. He was a very isolated person. Other than that, like, yeah. Um, travel this house. That's crazy, man. So for you, like, because for people who don't know, you do, you're very secluded where you are. Um, when you say Grand Digger Mountain, like, we're literally, there, there's a mountain. You have a mountain. It's your mountain. <laughs> but for you, like, that's not a regular conversation. You have a mountain. Like, people yeah. just don't say that every day. That's crazy. Yeah. You always hear people be like, so you got an island. Yourself even okay. more. Yeah. It's interesting. So you got a mountain. <laughs> just getting a houseboat, getting a yacht. And if you want to see me, these are my coordinates. Pull up on a helicopter and we ain't talking. Hmm? I tell my wife that it's like Shakespeare. How about eat? Fish? I say fish. She say you can't eat fish all day. Yeah, you can. I say I get... I get some food that's shipped to me, I guess. Yeah, you have to, somebody would have to boat it to you. But that's not, I mean, I don't think that's uh, unrealistic. Are you, are you like, um... I even said that I was smoke, like, no, no, smoke. Coming in this part of the house, right? Mm -hmm. No, I can tell, yeah. For sure. This is the first time you smoked in this part of the house? But hey, eggs. That's probably about the eggs. Because like you said, I was like the couch, like you were saying earlier, like the couch yeah. and stuff. For the about clothes, looking for this super earlier. Man, I walked out that fucking studio smoking a cigarette. I had to keep that door open. How long have you smoked? I've been smoking cigarettes since I was seven years old. Damn. My dad was what? like that. My dad tells everybody I've been smoking since I was I heard a lot of stories about that. Though. Get this shit out. I think I got arrested when he was nine. And I think my mom. Um, he tried to burn down his my house. My god, dad. I think he was. I think this nigga ran away from the army. <laughs> But it can't, you know how you get a home pass, I guess? Yeah. And that motherfucker ran away to New York, New Orleans, because he didn't want to go back. So I guess during, during the time, like, as he was at the house, mm -hmm. I used to be watching that nigga smoking cigarettes, and every time he throw that bitch out, he would grab it. Grab it? You'd, and you smoke what was left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. You probably did that too. You yeah, knew. I did that one time. I see. My dad threw a cigarette down. I was probably like seven. And I remember I picked that bitch up. I took a hit, and I, threw, I was coughing so much that I threw up. And my mom was like, see, that's what the fuck you get, picking up a fucking cigarette. And ever since then, I was, I was out on it, man. I was out on it. I, I just want to be better than yesterday. It's important, man. 
and you know, and I forget, I did, if I get this certain amount of money and, and, run, and go away, I would. So for you, your interest, like, like, it's almost like if I can get this, get to this certain goal, whatever it may be, you're comfortable with just disappearing. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Once all this behind me, mm -hmm. move the air up or some shit. <laughs> Once the legal stuff. That was like Tupac said, I'm going to go to Cuba or something. Mm -hmm. So we talking about uh, Tupac earlier. Is, is out of your way. Yeah. We might not hear from you. All this put behind me. Oh, you going to hear from me. <laughs> but we don't know where you are. I think you always know where I'm at, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it been, it's been, what, three years now since you've been dealing with the current situation? Almost three? Yeah. Is it wearing on you yet, man? I'm sure at times it's got to be tough to kind of just feel confined. I mean, obviously you have a nice place, but it's still... Yeah, but I, I got it better than... I got it better than so many people. For right, sure. He on house sure. arrest, but he house arrest in a mansion, though. He got, like, all this land he can go to, so... Yeah. Kind of feel free. In their apartment, we're stuck. Oh, uh, uh, stuck inside a fucking city going to the club. <laughs> and then we get... Yeah, the club, man. I don't get it anymore. I got everybody, I got, I got everybody approved who, who I love and who I like to when I call. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't wake up in no cell. No, you, you have a beautiful property, man. Yeah. You got beautiful animals, you got beautiful children, your, your wife's here. Right? Got, you got a maid, man. Hey, we literally can hit that trail and go all the way behind this mountain. It's crazy to see, like... The things that, like, you know, your environment changes you and teaches you things. Like, for you, like, do you feel like you've kind of adopted, like, being, like, an outdoorsman a bit? Because I feel like you, you got to kind of in, embrace nature. I want to really get into it. Like, I want to learn how to fill my backpack up on my own, <laughs> go up in the mountains, start a fire, cook something, eat it, yeah. come back. Like, survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever watch those shows on Netflix where they're naked yeah. and they have to survive in the middle of nowhere? I, I glanced at them a couple of times. It's intriguing because you'll see how they start fires. You see how they like, they'll catch fish. They'll, I mean, mm, kind of like outdoor boys. Mm, TikTok. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because you'll see what how they start watching? fires. You see how they like, they'll catch fish. They'll, I mean, no, that's so. So you might that that might be a nice little side mission for for you just to kind of. You know, hey, we're gonna go to the forest for a day. We're gonna camp. We're gonna. We're gonna we're gonna catch our food. I had a bobcat jump out on us uh, up, up there one day. Mm. A bobcat? What happened? <laughs> it didn't it run off? Man, that bitch that bitch tried to get to the can now. That bitch lady tried to run into it. It was me and the dump. Mm. Did it run off? Did it survive? I ain't even looked to see where it went. All we seen was it coming out the bushes. I'd be worried. I kept food. I'd be worried about bears, bro. Have you seen any bears up here? No. You know, you tell me that all the animals yeah. up there. Mm. I really think I saw a big print before. So those bears are the ones, because they'll come in the house to look for food. I hope they don't know that. They never watched <laughs> that, uh, that video. Yeah, like, is there really? Like, like bro. where? He gets attacked by a bear from behind, and he just gets fucking destroyed. No, it made me scared. I think I just seen that video. You know, I'm an animal guy. I want to. I would like to pet a bear one day. I'm you know? scared of the speed. Yeah, I ain't no getting away from this bitch. <laughs> the speed and the force. I ain't no getting away, man. Man, not for sure, dude. I just it's think it's been bad, like a go cut. <laughs> I just think it's been dope, like you know, to kind of see how you've been able to. Do so much from here. You've done so much since you've gotten out and since you've been in your current situation. Mm -hmm. That kind of would make me second guess a lot, though. I was blessed to, I was blessed to get a bun and, and to be able to be put in this position. Mm -hmm. For sure. So I'd be saying to myself, like, bro, if I do this up, you know, I'm just, I'm fucked up. You see how they going about me now, so I'm pretty sure if I do anything, like, just against my probation, yeah. against my ass. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, interesting. After him, like, as soon as he slip up, they're going to send his ass right back. Yeah. yeah you got to be careful. They're it's on smart. top of you, for sure. You, you're definitely, uh, 
And that's gotta be. He definitely like stressful. a target though. And definitely. Because yeah. <laughs> at all times, you know, you're kind of under a microscope. Uh, they try, try to make you. They try to make you do right. Mm-hmm. It forces you to to, to mm-hmm. maybe not make certain decisions you would have made. Mm-hmm. Do you think it works? Yeah. Do you feel like um, once all this is behind you, you're going to the same output we're getting? Is that something that we're going to continue to get? Are you going to tour the country? Your fans haven't seen you live for, I don't even know, how long? I mean, you got to know if you did a tour right now, it's sold out arenas, 52 dates. If if that's even something you would even want to do, you know? I would hope you would want to. Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Going and seeing seeing the fans? And he was doing it before he got locked up. And I mean, I admit, though, like, I know that it probably wouldn't be for him. It would be more for, like, his fans like us, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he probably would be like, if he didn't have to, like, no. But like But people gotta have us, smart you know the last time you had a concert, you got shot up. So like it's not just him, it's the fans, but like you gotta act smart. Like you can't fuck it up for him, you know, getting people hurt and stuff like that. Yeah. So you gotta, everybody gotta be Don't even be the fans, you know, it'll be yeah, them, it'll be them yeah, other yeah, people, yeah, you know. Yeah. I ain't want to. If Can I be calm on the side of it took all the way to this time of life for me to go on stage. Yeah, that's deep. I think that's my cheat code. Stand out the state. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with you. A lot of artists, they they they, they really have they even if they don't want to go on stage, it's, it's you know this is kind of how you really make money for most artists. But a lot of artists, they got great ass music, but it ain't gonna go if they don't touch the stage. Mm-hmm. Right. It ain't gonna go if they not on tour. Yeah, yeah, and promote your stuff. Yeah. You have bro- so I feel like as an artist, like, you gotta, like, act when your music is hot. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't just, like, go on tour and your music's not popping. But, like, once you start going viral and you get that following, and, like, you start booking stuff, like, you have to go on tour in order to, like, you know, keep your following base. And, like, to keep people entertained and wanting more, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, I definitely feel what he's saying on that. But with him, I was saying what I said earlier. Like, you, you really are, you're an enigma when you think of the music industry. Because, like you said, you, you haven't toured. Like, most artists that are as successful as you are. And uh, you do have kind of, like... I think you you know you you are, you you have a lot of power, man. You have a lot of influence on 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 this industry. Period. Mm-hmm. I don't know a lot of people who were dropping music the way you drop music mm-hmm. until you started doing it. You know, it's because a lot of artists mind fucked. <laughs> a lot of a lot of artists. Interesting. Now play the game. I play. Mm-hmm. They worry about numbers. Mm-hmm. I ain't never give a fuck about no numbers. Mm-hmm. I'm part of the food chain. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Like i um, the supplier, then the buyer, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's how that shit add up like that. That's how, I, that's how when a nigga talk that shit, I can live without a plate. And they got over 100 certifications on that bitch. <laughs> so you know, it don't, it don't he stop do it all on like numbers, like number one records and stuff like that, like gold records and stuff like that. Yeah. It don't stop. That. 100 gold and platinum records. It's like, it's like that's crazy. Like 24. That's crazy. You know, what place sell food for? Albertsons. Albertsons, Ralph's. Uh, Smith's and Albertsons, you see all that motherfucking meat inside that freezer. You know, damn well, all of it ain't being bought. But I can guarantee you, it's one person walking in that store, at least behind something from each category a day. Yeah. And it's gonna add up. That's the game you're playing. I can't be fucked with. I don't disagree. Then, the, hey, I always say. Switching his moves. That was gonna lie. No. They do not lie, man. And everybody knows that play with. I feel like it seemed like he's switching his mood, but I just feel like it's because he's passionate about it. Yeah, passionate, but like some stuff, yeah, he want like emphasize it, like yeah. be serious. But like, it. yeah, you gotta be serious, shit. Yeah, you yeah. talking about your shit, shit. You gotta. You and he look. You can tell when he's serious. Like he'll look at him when he's saying it. So I definitely. Yeah, you gotta saying. stand on me. Attention. There's only no more than five artists that did big numbers this whole year. So you looking at me? Yeah, I see. Out of them five, three of them artists, his numbers was bought. I think that a lot of that is starting to get yeah, exposed. Yeah, 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 I think a lot of, uh, yeah. you know, the stream farms. There's a stream there's an artist yeah. that, um, you know, my boyfriend, the label, who's working because I do radio, so he's he works. He's working this record, 
I know my my I ain't, I ain't not one thing scripted about me. Yeah. I ain't got no I ain't got no bad inside no label no. Oh, I ain't got Jason telling me to go about something like this. No, for sure, man. I ain't yeah. shit scripted, so I know. Man, man, it's just this shit so real. Like this shit real, real life reality. Now I think the real ones are gonna stick with me. They gonna fuck with me. For sure. Yeah, I think all through my flaws, they gonna run with me. And I think, Sorry, you know, his own. <laughs> embracing your flaws, figuring out, like, kind of understanding what they are. That's the problem I got with this game today, bro. I'm one of them niggas. I, I ain't always been the stand-up guy in every situation. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't always been right. That's important to admit. Mm -hmm. Man, that's with every fucking man. I think right though, like, you know, me being here, had, I, I, you just reached out to me one day. I don't know what interview you saw mine, but you just said, ask me, like, do you enjoy what you do? That's did? how they be getting them interviews. He be reaching out to them. Oh, y'all want Yeah, he just said it. You reached out to us after you saw one of our interviews. Mm. Mm, reached out to me one day. I don't know what interview you saw mine, but you just said, ask me, like, do you enjoy what you do? And it was randomly. You and I never met. Um... And I just hit you like, hey, dude, I'd love to talk to you one day. And, you know, we made it happen. So I, I appreciate you uh, opening up your home to me and, um, mm. you know, inviting me out to Utah, man. It is cold as hell out here. <laughs> I don't want to be sure. It's still snow. I wouldn't call it a snowmobile. It's like a snow scooter. Uh, a, a, a moon a moon bike, whatever. A moon bike. Moon bike. That shit had me fucked up. Uh, My legs are really wet right now. Um... <laughs> For you, man, talk about just like your legs with. Oh yeah, my shit's all the way up to here. All my fucking ass with, man. <laughs> I mean, we're we are kind of sitting on a freshly clean couch. Right, right, right. Yeah, and the couch is like clean. That's why we sitting on these. It's damp for sure. We're all, we're damp right now. We're just in the snow, hundred percent. I was gonna ask you, man, like uh, somebody who I think you, who is also very anti-industry, but is also very successful right now and you have such a great chemistry and working relationship you guys got a couple of songs that i love is rod wave he is a, a, an amazing guy he's from st pete which i lived there for a long time there's somebody who still will win in the game like mm -hmm. i think he love what he do he's so good at it man and i think he's so positive man yeah, he is positive so taking in the people that ain't no way he could feel that's real You've been known to do a collab yeah, I project. Like, I don't know nobody, like, since he said that, I don't know nobody that, like, don't like Rob Wave, that, like, got anything bad to say about him. Just because he don't be in there, he just want to make But it even, like, about his music, don't nobody have, like, nothing really negative to say about his music. That's valid. Would you guys ever do a whole, uh, whole tape together? Maybe, like, a little EP or something? Mm. I think that'll be a setback for him. Mm. You think so? My image fucked up. Mm. Like, I think I gotta stay in my own lane. That's fair. You guys, you got some great, couple great drinks together, though. Is, how often are you, like, that's discovering that's new artists? Because obviously you have your label, like, your artists, but are you... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a house person, but <laughs> I love how these doors are. Like, I love the open landscape. It's just fire. I like the couch. Do you yeah, listen to nice much too. other music outside of I your like own stuff door. or your own guys? Like, are you tapped into, like... Not really. I know about a lot of... All this stuff that I think the world don't know about. Mm. Well, they, I just say they underground, but I like heat. You like heat? I was saying like this, like heat. Mm. Okay. He, I don't think he underground no more. Yeah, he, he not, was, he but he's he not was. now. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of more artists like this to come. Yeah, there's like guys like Destroy Lonely and Heat and... Yes, yeah, it's long live on. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I feel like there's a difference between being like underground because you're not necessarily commercial. But I think when yeah, you do the is underground, mm -hmm. I know forget that. It's funny. I listen to only classes. In the <laughs> I don't know how underground you could be, you know? Because I think some people still consider you who are like just generic music fans. They might think that you're kind of like underground. underground. But you're not. You're one of the biggest artists in the world. You know what I mean? So that's because they live in a different world. Mm -hmm. Don't play them on the radio. That's true. Like that. They not into. They not into nothing like me. 
I mean, you are one on one, man. I'll say that. I don't think there's any denying that. Does it matter to you? The the, because you said earlier, when the industry says you are that, does does the recognition of the quote unquote industry from where you're at right now does it even matter at all? Even if it's a one percent. I'm paid. I don't give a fuck. And that's all I don't want to be. I told you, you got to learn when the jokes is on you. We ain't, we ain't nothing but entertainment. And at the end of the day, we're the most lowest people on earth because we got an image to keep up. It's hard to be yourself. It is hard to be yourself. And you know, man, niggas be want to come across that bitch and talk crazy about a woman, but, but, but won't because they know that shit. Tear that image down, and a lot of people don't like that. So they not going to speak their mind. And it's a whole lot of different situations. Like, like, that's different than that. They be eating people up. But they got this shit down pat. They ain't gonna let nothing play with their image, I guess. Yeah, I think a lot of people get caught up in their image. I think a lot of people get caught up in their social media aesthetic, how they look online. Mm -hmm. It's like, at the end of the day, if you could just unapologetically be yourself at all times, it, it should work out for you, you know what I'm saying? Or turn out bad. I mean, it could turn out bad. I mean, like... God, they got so tired of getting started, starting to feel like, oh, he really a piece of shit. Or this nigga ain't got no, no type of moral, morals or, or sympathy. But then again, they just don't know, like, he probably one of the most soft-hearted hard people walking well, that's earth. Saying, like... He be like wilding on his songs, but like when he get done making the songs, he be like, you know, quiet, peaceful, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. like, that's his image that he's, people think he is. One of the most given ever. But all that shit don't matter when their opinion come about. I think society does a really bad job of judging people because mostly we judge people off their worst moments. I'm against society. But think about it, like. I mean, just, I just know today, like, hurting people. Ain't the way it hurt to hurt somebody. Right. Yeah. No, I don't give a fuck about that. No, I, I mean, listen, I think I think people like to judge people off of their low points. And, like, you might have one bad night, make one bad decision. But I'm going to, man, I swear, I, if I had, if, if it was anything to show you, I want you to see all my low points in life. No, you've been very transparent with that. To, uh, I wouldn't want you to see shit. Right. Man. Uh, you mentioned you went to rehab recently. Um, is that something that has, has you found helpful? Yeah, I really, I really needed it time. And I met some very cool people. Oh, and I was accepted in a way I never was before. Oh, they had to be going crazy now. Cool people. And I was accepted in a way I never was before. So I love, I love, I love that place. <laughs> was it in a, like a 12 step meeting? Did you do a, uh, like a 12 step meeting? Like a, where you like, yeah, everyone sits down, everyone shares their thoughts. I've been, I've been in a, some meetings. Yeah, everyone, like, I think, <laughs> like the angry birds. Oh, yeah, um, we have uh, to go yeah, to the meetings. Right. They were like sitting around in a circle. Yeah, it was like a court order. Yeah. <laughs> they cleared the house out for me as I arrived, just to let me check it out. Yeah. It's important, man. I think, uh, you know, to be self-aware enough to know, hey, I gotta go, I gotta go see somebody. <laughs> it's important. I love being high. I think everyone loves being high. It's just what comes after that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, it's not the time. Right. <laughs> it's not the time at all. Yeah, I love being high as well. And drunk and all of that stuff. I've been in my own personal, you know, situations with... Especially with alcohol, man. Alcohol's a motherfucker, bro. Because you, you, you'll be having the best night of your life, and it goes left like that. Tell me about it. Man, have you fucked Someone up? Tell me about it. Now you gotta go to uh, I, like, I love to pop that shit when I'm, when I'm drunk. Mm, yeah. Like the one, uh, the K2 song. <laughs> bro, he did. Hey, that's oh, funny. Tweaking. <laughs> you start drinking, you start really pop up. that shit. When you, like, like, that's how I tell you about yourself, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Would you say, like, uh, you know, every, everybody's complicated. But a lot of times when we see you online, right, you, 
and, and, and you're popping your shit, is it more, like, let's say, not necessarily recently, but would you be like drinking at the time most of the time? Or? No, that's 100% me. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen, alcohol I, brings out the truth. No, no, I'm talking about I'll be sober. Oh, okay. That's 100% me. I, I'd rather let them catch me. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's real. Nah, for real, for real. That 100% me. Like, I'm not going to Fuck you, that's how I'm really feeling. I love you. That's really genuine. Who are somebody, uh, you know, you've had some big homies in the rap game. Obviously, Birdman, uh, Kevin Gates, go on and on, shout to Gates. Who are some people who consistently check in on you and your well-being that aren't necessarily trying to get a feature, aren't trying to, you know, get something from you? Is there anybody at all in the music industry who... who... I don't really talk to nobody, but I to a, 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 a stone most of the time. And I wonder if he uh, is still cool with uh, the baby. Now, they were doing some mm. stuff for a while. He ain't yeah. really spoken to like that in a while. So. I can tell you, well, I can tell you about these niggas, though. Yeah, he just so hurt. Yeah, he just so hurt meeting somebody. And finding out that it ain't, it ain't. It ain't who you think they are. Nah, mm. fuck no. <laughs> Man, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga get the mad, you nigga get mad out there you will. Bitch, that nigga get to speaking on, on you like, 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 like you ain't. Like, you ain't who you say you is or something. People ain't who they say they are. So Birdman's been pretty consistent, you know, making sure he... That's the fire. Yeah. That's the fire. Well, actually, <laughs> obviously, I'm sure you learned a lot from him. I'm, you know. He would anything I'm on. Literally. Shout out to Birdman. How's the, uh... I know you just dropped an album. You just dropped another single. Um... With your current situation, I know you got like a one of one type of situation. Um, how long is is is, is your deal with with, with, with Motown Capital? Because you could burn through it. I feel like you could burn through a record contract in like three months if you if you really wanted to, like a traditional one, obviously. But that's the problem. That's the problem. Like I'm I'm, I'm tied up right now. Like you, so you're free to do whatever you want, obviously. Yeah, but I ain't trying to give out shit free. Cause, mm-hmm. nah, I see, I ain't trying like, to take care. Rap, that's why I'll be like, I would rather like be able to drop myself whenever I want to, like what I want to, instead of having to do like somebody else tell me to do like a real job. Yeah. Like I want to be free. So everything yeah, gotta be counting for, or drop me. And let me show you some shit. Would you ever? Consider going fully independent with your with building the infrastructure and the team out where you can just say I'm gonna do me. My life ain't set up that way. <laughs> mm. I'm down for it though. I can I ain't gonna fail. But shit. Uh, like one day maybe. Maybe not currently. Yeah, hopefully one day, but I want I, I want that money, man. <laughs> I mean, money's important, man. Yeah. I mean, that's why we do what we do, right? Sometimes that's the only thing. And, in some situations, that's, that's the only thing they got your back. <laughs> the money? Your money. That's some real shit. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you having me out. I appreciate you for coming. <laughs> I, <don't know> <laughs> time, but, uh, I think we were supposed to make a song, but we'll do it another time, I guess. Mr. Yeah. Lane made that song? Um, mm-hmm. I look forward to, uh, to just seeing the rest. I mean, look, 2024 is coming. I know you're gonna have a big year. Um, I just appreciate the hospitality, man. I know. Man, I hope you start off this year. Like this 2024, when we watching this. So. Mm-hmm. so I hope you start off this year like he did last year, because he dropped two albums like in April, and late May. So I hope you do that this year. So it's a big deal, you know, for me to be up here to me. So thank you, and um, I just man for sure, bro. It was, it was come back. Time. I come back anytime. Without the camera. Yeah, for sure. I'll come back with the camera. I'll bring my kid with me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hop on the horse. That's all right. For yeah. sure. A little sleigh riding with the dogs. A sleigh riding. That sounds fun. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to put together right now for my video. Mm. Let me know. I'll pull up, man. I'll bring the kid. No cameras. We'll just have fun. Bring your great Indian trips. I got a lot of RC cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the cam ends and everything. Yeah, no, no, for sure. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you an actual grave digger truck. For sure. A monster truck. It's a monster truck. You know that, right? My dream is to um, turn a Rolls Royce truck into a grave digger. Oh, that'd be mm-hmm. fucking crazy. That's going to be hard. 
I mean, I'm sure you could just make that happen tomorrow if you want. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. That is yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you, man. Stay safe. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I love to see your growth, man. You know, I think that's something that I, I publicly said in interviews. Like, I just love to see when people are self-aware and they grow. Because who we are yesterday, who we are today, and who we're going to be tomorrow is not who we are today. So, much love, bro. Appreciate you, man. For sure, man. Thank you. Young boy. <laughs> Fine. And we show some love to our family at heart. Uh, so what you think about it? It was a cool interview. I feel like he got deep. Like, yeah, trying to get to know him more and just, like, you know, giving us more insight on, like, young boy's life. You know, because, yeah, I mean, yeah. we don't get no tours or nothing for real. Only thing we really get is music, so... Trying to go off his music and like what he really be going through, you know. So, I say this interview was probably like an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. I think it was a ten out of ten. It was good. It's a little long, but it's still. I mean, like it was that. pretty good, yeah. Definitely good. But I feel like those one guy should have did a longer interview with him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was good. Say, I saw like our last video, the one with the two guys that interviewed him. I thought that was really good. Yeah. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below. We'll see you right up to next.